A pump would be nice, but remember, there's no financial advice. Crypto Badgers. Thanks for joining the Crypto Badgers, two to gens that like to do our research. I'm Max Power, joined as always by Matt, aka by Z Dips. A very warm welcome to all of our subscribers and anyone new. We do appreciate each and every one of you. In case you haven't realized already, we are here each week to uh, spoon feed you that alpha from the Daily Arc podcast from the week. That was not far from episode 200 on the bounce now. Uh, quite an incredible effort from the team. Uh, if you are new to Arc, uh, check out some of our earlier videos on uh, how we got started and uh, how you can uh, get that ROI back. Uh, Matt, uh, another. Uh, Another solid week uh, on the arc, more on the uh, the air card that's coming and other development updates we look forward to getting into. Uh, what are your main observations been? Yeah, it's been a great week, Max. Uh, but look, before we get into all the news and whatnot, uh, I believe uh, you may have just come off the golf course. Is this correct? Fresh, fresh off the golf course. Uh, I see you're relaxed. Lovely winter's, day, lovely winter's day in Melbourne. Um Beautiful sunny, and the more said about the weather and the conditions outside, as opposed to my gameplay, the better. Um, <laughs> uh, what do they? What do they say? Uh, the worst day on a golf course is still better than the uh, the worst day in an office, or whatever it is, <laughs> something <funny>. like that. <laughs> no, lovely, lovely day out. Um, but and always good to know that I was uh, coming back uh, to do another Arc Fire Weekly, and uh, as we always do each week, uh, let's start by uh, going under the hood and seeing what the uh, stats have to tell us from the week. New accounts uh, were at 5,027 last week. So I'm about sort of uh, 155 or so, if my maths is correct there. Uh, pretty much uh, on the standard size, really, in terms of um, new accounts each week. Probably have been at 170, 180 last few weeks, maybe maybe slightly behind. ILC down at 317,393. Look, obviously, that is 100K down compared to what it was last week. There's no uh, no getting around that. Ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, our tokens remain in the vault regardless of the ILC reserves. And uh, as we know, there's uh, lots going on with the team uh, in terms of what's to come on the roadmap. And a little chart here as well, Matt, that I thought we may just show listeners. Down at the depths of the June analytics, there is actually a chart that tracks what the ILC reserves have done. And you can see here back in January, we were at 518,000. It appeared like one-way traffic down to, it got to 328. And then obviously went back up and we come back down, we've gone back up. And obviously, yep, we come back down here. Look, may end up going get going down, we don't know. Um, but it's not to say on every sort of um, movement, there's no, no, no cause for panic. Um, so, Thought that might just be good context for people, especially if they're new. That just shows that that ILC is uh, designed to keep the price steady, but the chart of it um, is not going to remain that way. So, just an important bit of context for everyone there. Uh, what about in terms of the Spark prize pool, Matt? How did we look this week? Yeah, the Spark rewards were huge again this week. Uh, I guess we've come to expect that during the second week of the uh, the round robin. In total for the week, uh, 4,508.92 ARC was given away with a BUSD street value of $25,745.93. However, it is important to note that there's an additional 10% on top of that that was awarded to syndicate leaders with the highest referral deposits each day. It really is a great way and a, an excellent ex incentive for uh, for team builders at Max. I think it's a great uh, great innovation that. Yeah, I mean, obviously still a long way to go till this is actually drawn next, but yeah, refer someone with 300 ARC, you know, only, you know, 15, 1600 bucks and you'd be at the top of the chart for the day. Boom. And uh, in, in the hunt for, you know, 70 or, or so ARC bonus in your own account. Very nice indeed. And how are we going, with, or, or how are we looking, Max, with the uh, legacy NFTs? Uh, let's take a look. I will. I did forget to mention that liquidity uh, last week that was at nine twenty two k, so that's up to nine twenty eight. So still more people coming in to enter the Spark Prize pool on the road to one million in terms of uh, the liquidity. Not a bad little week, actually, uh, Matt. On the uh, legacy NFTs, we're at four thirty seven last week, so fifteen out the door this week. Uh, we were at 355 silver. So four, 14 of those have been silvers. And uh, pleased to report that a little platinum went out the door yeah. uh, 
uh, this week. So that's uh, nipped up to 28 there. So look, uh, 14,000, that's still another 24,000 in the kitty, um, 20% of which of that heads into this NFT rewards pool. And then, of course, the remainder goes into the external revenue investment fund as well. So, um, yeah, pretty good week there on the uh, legacy NFTs. In terms of the uh, 1% daily, uh, we didn't cover this one last week due to the dearth, sorry, the breadth of content, not dearth, we had breadth of content. <laughs> uh, and uh, that this is actually shot up. This was sitting at around 30%. Last week uh, on one percent, that's now thirty four percent for the week. So it's gone up about two hundred and thirty accounts since we uh, last covered this. Got dropped from two to one percent, and uh, unfortunately, Matt, I must report to you that six people have dropped down to 05 percent permanently. So uh, that happens when you stuff up that CD CWR. So do make sure whether it's auto allocate or being very attentive and get your routine right. Make sure that uh, you don't. Um, you don't exceed your uh, restrictions there on the on the CWR. Uh, now that is uh, the stats. Let's uh, get to the news. And uh, Matt, we've uh, had a bit more update on the Air Card. Yes, indeed, mate. Uh, Brett advised that the Air Card and also the uh, Fiat on ramp should be ready in the next week or two. I do really uh, love the idea of the Air Card. I think it's a badly needed product, not just for you know the Arcfire community, but also for the broader market uh, for folks that are you know, looking for an easy and fast way to off-ramp their crypto and buy real-world goods and services. But I think um, there's possibly been just a little bit of confusion in the community surrounding the Air Card, like as compared to the, the physical MasterCard, Visa Card. Um, I think the easiest way to possibly explain the primary differences between them is that the Air Card can be used to purchase goods and services only and does not require K KYC for up to $2,000. So just, uh, Matt, just to, just to clarify, yep. so 2K is KYC, but you can load up to five. Is that right? Yeah, I think you can, yeah. But, um, but yeah, the, the physical card, the, the difference there is that, you know, that will require KYC, and you'll not only be able to purchase goods and services, but you'll also be able to go to an ATM and withdraw cold, hard cash. I, I'm going to call it uh, Crypto Fergie style, like he presented on his... Uh, video a few weeks uh, there's also much higher limits on the physical card as well so hopefully that uh, explains things a little bit clearer to people that uh, may have been a bit a little bit confused by the two yeah i'm looking forward to getting one of those i mean i'll be i'll be getting one of them as soon as it comes out yeah me too max personally and i dare say given those limits and the kind of gravy that one will be pulling out from uh Arc <laughs> in future that there might be a few reloads and new cards on that <laughs> for sure for sure well um, yeah, I think they've they've indicated that it, it's going to cost maybe roughly ten bucks to top up on there, which would be would be pretty good. But those details are still to be confirmed. Also, I thought worth pointing out that uh, the team advised uh, on the podcast this week that they will be embarking on an extensive AMA tour uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, going to get the message out there loud and clear about the new roadmap. And of course, uh, all the utilities um, that they're going to be rolling out in the coming months, including the air card that you just mentioned. Um, so I think this will uh, help bring a lot of fresh eyes to the project. So uh, expect to see the team actively out there in the coming weeks. And I don't know about you, Matt, but uh, I just love it when Brett and Atlas just get into get into their uh, mode on these AMA yeah. playing off each other. <laughs> they do it extremely well. So uh, I'm, I've absolutely no doubt they're going to bring some fire to those conversations. Uh, yes. And uh, also we had a bit more on the new ArcFire pro privacy token, uh, which is being launched. We did uh, do quite an extensive wrap up of that last week, which if you haven't seen uh, is certainly worth looking at. Brett's advised that he'll be uh, releasing that light paper very soon for this new token and uh, envisaging that uh, the pre-seed deposit contract is going to come out in around two weeks' time. So I think just worthwhile reminder that the principal deposits into this new contract will earn yield in BUSD. And at the conclusion of the pre-seed round, your principal balance, along with the rewards that you've earned, will be redeemed dollar for dollar to this new privacy token, I guess with whatever the ARC-5 price is, because there's no uh, guarantee of that into the future. So depositing into the new contract will be the only way to get this guaranteed access to the pre-sale round. And Matt, I just think it's worth saying here that I think there's quite a lot of people potentially who may regret not allocating enough rewards uh, in this pre-seed contract. I mean, look, we've been involved in a hell of a lot of these sort of pre-seed private sale 
launch pad kind of opportunities uh, through our journey in crypto. And I tell you what, we've put our money into a lot of worse projects than this. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. This is this is one of the best I think we've seen, to be honest. Um, and so, and we know that getting in on the ground level of a, a very, you know, tangible new project that's got a, a genuine use case, you know, on what we think is going to be a very hot new chain with sort of the right narrative, it, it's it's a pretty rare opportunity. So perhaps people, and maybe even include, I'll put myself in this category, just being a little relaxed on what this opportunity, oh yeah, it's going to be there, we're, we're in art, we're going to get an opportunity to get in, but perhaps not quite understanding that you know you've got to have those arc on the side to to get your position and and that in the early days of that pre-seed contract being launched that's when the most yield's going to be there yeah it certainly will uh, i think atlas has described it as the hourglass contract so i think there's going to be a lot of fomo for people wanting to get in early and you know at the end of the day the team's given us a great heads up to start stacking some uh, some arc reward tokens haven't they uh before this contract goes live so yeah i think uh, quite a few people are sleeping on this one yeah um what's happened you've been uh, helping out with these Group Zoom calls and sales yes. presentations. What's the latest? Give me some alpha. Give you some alpha. Well, the group Zoom calls, they're going to be starting this coming week. So the sales presentation is complete. Obviously, you know, things can be tweaked and what have you as time goes on. But uh, a team of presenters has uh, already been assembled to roll these out on a daily basis. So syndicate leaders will be able to distribute a banner uh, with their referral code throughout the communities and um, any prospects will be able to register for these live Zoom presentations on a day that suits them. I think, Max, um, this sort of educational onboarding strategy, it's I don't know about you, but I've, I've not heard of anything like it in DeFi. And I think it's just another example of how this team are well and truly thinking outside the box to onboard, onboard the masses, right? Um, so I think it's a really sort of exciting time for the project. We're going to have... Uh, Brandon kicking things off this coming Tuesday and Brett on Wednesday. So do look out for that banner information in the days to come. So just tell me how it works. Let's say I, you know, I uh, walk past James at the water cooler or <laughs> when I'm in Thailand later in the year, there's some guy with a machete, uh, <laughs> you know, chopping up coconuts. Um, and I say to him, hey, man, check out this arc thing. Um, there's a presentation. What what do I do? Like at that point, how do I, what's, how does it all work? Well, if you're a syndicate leader, they can, uh, they can, you can provide them with the, with the banner and that's going to have your ref link on it and they'll click on through and uh, away they go. And so I suppose even if you're not a syndicate leader, it's obviously still a good place or you, you're not building a team. Absolutely. For people to get the information, right? Absolutely. Certainly. Uh, Matt, I'm pleased to tell you the I Heart Arc competition is back. It's back, uh, baby. It's back. Um, back by popular demand uh, to help the team celebrate the 200th podcast. And not just the 200th podcast, 200th podcast on the bounce. And that's going to take place on May 19. So uh, there's going to be some massive iHeart Arc prizes on offer. I try and say that quickly five times. <laughs> you wouldn't uh, want to say that with a mouthful of peanuts, Max. No. Um, and if you uh, if you do want to participate, you need to add iHeart Arc in your telegram name and uh take a screenshot and send it to mistletoe i believe first prize is it's quite handsome matt um 500 very handsome with d um for first prize and four runner-up prizes of 250 buckaroos each i mean that's pretty good that's a couple of nights out right there um good nights out so uh, in total, there's around uh, 1,500 BUSD that will be given away on that special day. So a great initiative there by the team. And I just, even if you're not involved in that competition, let's, as a community, let's get in the telegram for the 200th and celebrate, not only um, to come together as a community, but also as a bit of a thanks to the team for all the hard work on reaching that milestone. Let's do it. So, um, and speaking of community, Matt, uh, all aboard, talk us through uh, who was on this week. Yeah, another great week, Max, uh, for the All Aboard Daily segment. Uh, this week, we had a look at a video from Ohio Crypto. He took us through some key stats from the ARC. He also went through his uh, spreadsheet calculator that he's developed and showed how that all works. Uh, Crypto Putter was back with another video, giving everyone an update on his journey on board the ARC. He talked about uh, retirement and the state of investing outside of DeFi and crypto. He's been very, very impressed with ARCFI, and he wished that it had come along uh, 
you know, a lot sooner um, than, than until he got into it. You know what I mean? And and also uh, you can check out some of his golf videos as well. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Know, so, yeah. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we also saw a video from Crypto Fergie, who's really been on a tear recently, hasn't he? Uh, took a look at uh, his new ArcFi is the Standard video, where he touched on various aspects of the roadmap, including the up- upcoming uh, privacy token pre-seed sale. Uh, Fleming was back as well with another great Medium article discussing how you can revolutionize your portfolio by diversing into ArcFi. He talked about the steady passive income on offer, which has the potential to become life-changing whether we enter a new crypto bull market or not. So uh, that was a, a really good uh, Medium article from him. We took a look at a terrific new video from Jashan from Jay Vanquish. He really does get it all, doesn't he, Max? He does great videos, but uh, he happened to be a little bit unwell. So he used AI to do uh, the voiceover, which was quite unique. Um, he praised the team in the project, which he feels has been well and truly built for the long haul. Uh, he clearly explained how the ILC works and how fair it is, given that someone, I guess, now entering the system will be paying the same price as someone who got in from the beginning. And finally, Clover, the OG, was back with a very detailed video of the entire ecosystem. He went old school, Max. He got the old whiteboard out and showed his viewers how they can get started and grow a big position in ArcFi. So that was uh, an excellent video for him. Looking forward to uh, more of his videos. Excellent. Uh, Great summary there, uh, Matt. Now, this week, I I must confess, in normie world, I had a big week this week. Um, I was not able to to join the post shows. I still listen, of course, to the recordings um, each day. But have you got any little tidbits for me? I heard there was like a three-hour session. I had a bit of FOMO for missing out. (laughs) <laughs> um, anything that you caught during the week? Yeah, there was a couple of big after show sessions, actually. I guess lots of discussion during the week about the pre seed privacy token launch, how that's going to work and how people can contribute and what have you. The hourglass contract, uh, that was all uh, all discussed in length, uh, or at length. Um, also, I, th- I think, uh, you know, sort of as I mentioned earlier, a little bit of discussion as well around the, the new air card and sort of its capabilities and how it sort of will differentiate itself from the, the physical card. Is your sense that most people who are in ARC are going to probably get one of those air cards? I think absolutely. I mean, I mean, I, I, for me, I'll be looking at both. But um, I think the new air card, I think it's got massive applications, not just for our community, but as I said earlier, the broader crypto market. This, this product is desperately needed. I think, and I think it could really go quite viral. I think it's going to become our golf card for our, uh, <laughs> for our major account. Hey, why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, as well, uh, if uh, you're enjoying our ArcFi Weekly shows, then uh, be sure to check out the ArcFi Weekly Medium article, which is expertly created by none other than Catalyst uh, himself. The man with the stats is Catalyst here. You can see uh, he lays it all out uh, in a very simple format there. Now, last week, Matt, we could not go through our wallet. There was just so much going on, but uh, today we'll be back. Let's check out how we are going. Yes, a quick screen change uh, just required there, uh, Matt, but with the magic of editing, here we are at the, uh, <laughs> the Vault page. Now, we've obviously spoken about the uh, the need to potentially stack some ARC tokens for this pre-seed contract, and uh, we've been doing that. We've got 132 ARC sitting in the balance. We haven't um, sold our rewards uh, with the exception, I would say, of having to uh, up our auto allocate. Uh, I had to chuck another 50 days in there. So I uh, just sold a couple for BNB to get that sorted. But the rest are sitting tight, waiting for that pre seed contract uh, to position ourselves. We are nearing a balance of 4,000. This started at 640, Matt. 640. Very nice indeed, Maxi. 4,000. Yeah, we've had uh, a few little referral rewards ticking in. I think we had uh, one more join the. Uh, the Badgers team this week, um, and we, uh, if you are uh, new and looking uh, for somewhere to go in your ARC journey, then uh, do drop, drop into our Telegram group. And of course, uh, if you want to join our team, it'll cost you nothing there. The the wallet is in the description. Um, so yeah, everything ticking along very nicely here. Um, looking forward to that 4,000 milestone. Let's take a quick look at the calculator, see where we are at now. I think uh, we're going to hit that 4,000 mark uh, in a couple of days, Matt, um, in our principal balance. And really at the moment, dragging out about, let's call it 54 bucks a day if we if we were selling. If we were selling. And I think that's, the, that's the big point there, if. Yeah. Um, but so we've got probably a couple of weeks to 
get our balance up a little bit. I think at the moment it works out roughly for us about 90 to 100 arc a week in the wallet, something like that. So nice. over the course, we should be able to get a position of 1500 to two grand, depending on when exactly the um, that pre-seed contract comes out. So I think- Yeah, I, it's a really interesting one. You, you, you say that the sort of 1500 to two grand and it's interesting. Um, I think Brett mentioned during the week, during the podcast that because when you do deposit into that new pre-seed contract, you know, you're going to be earning yield. Um, and you know, whatever you put in there, it's probably likely to to near enough to double in USD value. You know, when you consider the yield you're earning as well, that's not confirmed by the way, but it was sort of you know inferred that something along those lines. So if we can get fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars worth of arc in there, you know, that's probably going to be you know maybe three thousand or more um, by the time the actual pre seed contract concludes. So it's really important that people understand that when they do put uh, their arc into that contract, they, they're going to be earning yield on it. You know really what I love deal. about this, Matt, is that it's one of those things where, especially now when we're stacking the arc at the moment, if you realize on the day of the pre-seed, you're like, oh, crap, I want to get into this. <laughs> you, you literally cannot do anything about no, it. There's, there's going to be some pro- You can't, can't go some- and buy arc and just get get nope. more from the you know liquidity pool to put in there. You've got to earn these tokens out. It's the only way. Absolutely. And I really do feel just, I think people are really sleeping on this. Um, I, so I really think they are. You know, if you if you're prepared, it's um, going to leave you at the worst with the best possible options on the table. Absolutely, you can still Absolutely. sell the arc if you suddenly decide I don't want to go into this. Um, Ab- Absolutely, you're giving yourself the best possible chance to uh, to maximise that opportunity in that pre seed contract. Yeah, no doubt you, about it. You all options are on the table as opposed to someone. You know, look, not financial advice, of course. You want to sell your awards each week, go right ahead. But, um, yeah, it's just worth worth at least considering, I think. Um, Absolutely. Think. Well, that's how we're playing it anyway, Max. Yes. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, that is the situation in the Badger wallet. And uh, that is it for another edition of the Arc Fire Weekly. Just a reminder that the daily podcast starts at 4 p.m. EST every single day. So make sure that you tune in to hear what the team has to say and do use it as an opportunity to ask any questions that you may have. Thanks for joining. As always, Matt, uh, I guess uh, we'll we'll be back again next week for another ArcFi Weekly. Um, uh, thanks to everyone for joining. Cheers, Maxie. Let's go. This is the YouTube crypto show with two guys who are kind of in the know. Crypto badges are here, so you're in the clear. No worry or fear, yeah, we're helping you steer. Shouts to the team, we can't forget. Max Power and Bazi Dips. Don't get wrecked, a pump would be nice. But remember, there's no financial advice. Crypto badges.